Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn discuss further into differential equations and now look at direction fields. And I'll go over that in a bit. Basically, as mentioned in my earlier videos, unfortunately, it's impossible to solve most differential uh, equations yeah, in the sense of uh, obtaining an explicit formula for the solution. So it's not easy to solve for uh, an explicit formula and oftentimes you just can't. Uh, but despite the absence of an explicit solution, we can still learn a lot about the solution through a graphical approach uh, called direction fields, which I'll go over in this video. And uh, you could also go over a numerical approach uh, like Euler's method, which I'll go over in, in later videos, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so let's look at direction fields. So suppose we are asked to sketch the graph of a solution of the initial value problem right here with the differential equation y prime equals x plus y, and the initial conditions is y when x is zero is equal to one. So we don't know a formula for this, the, the solution, so how can we possibly sketch this graph if we were, again, asked to sketch the graph of the solution? But instead, let's think about what the differential equation means. Basically, when you look at this, the equation y prime equals x plus y simply tells us that the slope at any point x, y on the graph called the solution curve is equal to the sum of the x and y coordinates. As again, that's x plus y of the point as shown in the figure below. So if I were to graph this out, let's just draw a general x, y axis like this, x, y, I don't know why it's like that. So let's say the solution looks something like this. Let's just assume it looks like that. So if this is our solution graph, and let's just put pick a random point here. Let's say this one is at x1 and y1. So here, if you were to draw the slope or the tangent line across it, it would look something like this. I'll draw this a bit, uh, a bit better. Let's just draw this across. So this tangent line, again, this has a slope, and it's, it's a tangent to this point right here. So the slope, if, if this is a solution to this initial value problem, then the slope has to be simply x plus y, or in this case, x1 plus y1. And similarly, if we had the point right here, let's say this is x2, y2, yeah, then at this point right here, again, if you draw a tangent line to get the slope, it looks something like, let's draw this a bit neater again, so something like that. And again, let's extend this, so it's a tangent line. This has a slope of, again, it's a solution to our differential equation, so it has to be x2 plus y2. Yeah, but now in particular what we're more interested in is because, well, the curve passes through the point 0, 1, and again, this is simply stating y of 0 is equal to 1, which is our initial condition. So this needs to be met, and again, that's why our solution curve needs to pass through it. Its slope must, uh, must uh, there be, or I mean, uh, there must be, its slope there must be, I don't know how my grammar's all off, so its slope must be 0 plus 1, or x, uh, x right here plus y, which is 0 plus 1, right there. Yeah, and anyway, sorry for that uh, grammar errors. So what we could do is look at a small portion of the solution curve near this point 0, 1, because again, it passes through it. And this one, if we, what I'll do right here is basically if we were draw it out, it would look like a short line segment through this point 0, 1 with slope 1, as shown in this figure. So if we were to draw this out, so if we were to draw, this is x, this is y, and then we know that this is part of the solution curve at the point 0, 1. So if we were to draw a small line segment, we know that it's going to look something like this, because it has a positive slope, and the slope is equal to 0 plus 1, which is again, derivative is a slope, is just one. So this curve look has to look something like this at the point zero one. Yeah, so now if we extend this further and look as a guide to sketching the rest of the curve, what we could do is draw short line segments at a number of points x, y, and they all have slopes x plus y. And the result of this, when you do this for a lot of points, is called the direction field. And it's shown in the figure below right here. So this right here, 
I got this from just I just googled a uh, direction field generator and got this one here so this one is differential equation f prime is equal to x plus y so that, that's again or the dy over dx equals x plus y is the same thing as our y prime so as you can see here this is at every point and this one you could put solutions and we'll just follow it along and I'll get to that in a bit so as you can see every single point here has different slopes across so yeah, here is just a quick generator, so I've copied and pasted that here, put the x and y axis like that. So for example, if we're looking at this, now that we have all these, and then I'll show you how you can go about graphing it out, any particular solution. So for example, the line segment at the point 1, 2 has a slope 1 plus 2 equals 3. So again, go, go to 1, 2 right here, and as you can see, this is at the 1, 2, and the slope is a 3, which is, as you can see, it's steeper than this one right here, which is our 0, 1 point, which has a slope of 1. So, yeah, as you can see, it's less steep than that, so it would be going up higher, and basically the direction field allows us to visualize the general shape of the solution curves by indicating the direction in which the curves proceed at each point. Now we can sketch uh, the solution curve through the point zero, 01 by following the direction field. So let's do that right here. So this is the point zero, 01, so we know that it goes through it, it follows the curve something like that. And again, the slope's getting higher and higher. Yeah, so it's actually, let's draw this, but it, it's, it's going to be parallel to all of these curves. So it, it will look something like like this over there and then then on this side here as you can see here the, this is like a flat uh, curve so it should be flat and all of a sudden we're going up higher like that let me just draw and then then you have a slope across that like that so it look it should look something like this yeah, and again notice that uh, we we have drawn the curve so it's parallel to nearby line segments and as you can see here this is roughly parallel and again, at this point, it's like pretty much on this curve, and everything is is relatively parallel across here and this one. And again, these are all just relatively uh, parallel. So now, we'll just let's look at a more general definition of yeah, of direction fields, or just a more concrete uh, way of saying it. Basically, in general, suppose we have a first order order differential equation of the form, again, like similar to our x plus y. In this case, we have y prime equals capital F of x, y, which is a function of two variables. And again, it's just a sum expression, x, y. The differential equation simply says that the slope of a solution curve at a point x, y in the curve is this expression of x, y, f of x, y. So if we draw short line segments with slope f, x, y, or just capital F, at several points x and y, the result is called a direction field, or it's also sometimes called a slope field. I think that's what this calculator calls it. This is a slope field plotter. So slope field, direction fields, all the same thing. So these line segments indicate the direction in which a solution curve is heading. So the direction field helps us to visualize the general shape of these curves even if we don't know the explicit formula for this solution. And this direction field, again, this is generated by the computer because it's quicker, illustrates, or uh, this will foreshadow in later videos, I'll show that, in fact, uh, differential equations, uh, I mean, most of the world's supercomputers are actually used to solve differential equations or numerically or graphically uh, plot them out or solve them. So again, yeah, a lot of the supercomputers are used in stuff like this. This is just a very basic uh, visualization, but uh, but as you get more and more advanced, it, the equations get more complex, so you're going to need faster and faster computers. So anyways, that's all for today. If you learned uh, from this uh, quick video on direction fields, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.